Testing this fan right here because I am I don't I never ever show this, this look, fan ever. In does the this look days. like your fan? Where'd this come from, Jonathan? That's when you got it in an auction. The motor was open. So um this fan basically was in the basics. I've never ever seen this fan before. So I think this where where first of all where did you have this fan at first? Where did it come from? Auction. An auction? Yeah. Pretty sure the motor. What kind is it, Logan? I would say some sort of. Hampton Bay Genoa or an Emperor or something? Yeah, it's an Econ. Econ? Econ, sorry. Econ? Yeah. Uh huh. So maybe an Econ Emperor then? Mm. Does it work? It's a M52 series. Can I keep it? It is an M52. Uh. Yeah, it's an Econ too. Can I keep that fan? Yes. Did I do that? I must have done that. Did it come with any blades at all? Um, I don't remember if this one had blades or not. I mean, I have like a few cane. I have a few fans that have cane blades. Like, I have the SMC Park Avenue 3 vibe bladed fan that has cane blades. And I think I have an the, SMC Emperor that has cane blades. blades. I mean, basically. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen this. Thing. That's the, the speed switch. That's the reversing switch. So which switch um, is, is has problems on your fan, Logan? Well, he says whenever he... Well, it's, whenever a, it's he, a ground wire that's the issue. Well, not necessarily the ground wire that's the issue. Well, yeah, it has to be, because when you like disconnect the ground wire, it works fine. It works perfectly, normal. Right, except that when you connect the ground wire and it trips the breaker, that means there's something else wrong with the fan. Yeah. So it's like Fanimation like next month, and I'm trying, because well, I, I need see, to sell at least a couple fans. I understand that all of these fans were on the same circuit. So they, they wired them so that they didn't have to switch anything. They could do it at one spot, and all the fans did. So the entire store was on one switch. So they could turn the lights and the fans off independently? No. Well, I mean, the ones that are looking, okay, because, like, most of the Hunter Originals are broken, because, well, because, like, some of them are just locked, because it doesn't have any oil and dust, because it's been hanging up there for decades, and I really want to kind of, like, fix it up. Because, like, when it runs without oil, it works really good. But I mean, but I mean, if you want it with oil, it this is it's, good. So I just got this. This is a, recently I just got. This it has two, two different capacitance here. values. One so. for there's so. low, high, so. and looks like this is the common here. So where is this auction at? The one today, mm -hmm. or the one that we got this at? Because there's one today and it has fans. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, can we go to that auction? I had to mention it. Well, I would have to leave right now. You had to mention that too. Yeah. It's like I didn't think that I should do that. I was thinking about going though, and I was thinking about asking your dad if he wanted to buy some fans. Yeah. Because he's been wanting me to get some fans. It's a desktop fan. Yeah, I guess we could go to if we want. Well, we have to leave up right now. But you have a... There's purple go. Oh, over there. And somebody... So, where's this? Jonathan's gone with me before. He's helped me there. Where's the... I'm confused. Okay, I keep the, 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 the other thing is that's... Yeah. 
I'm gonna keep the ceiling fan. Can I take this fan home with me? No. No. Why? Oh, okay. It's clean. Why? It doesn't work. I'll be in trouble. If I did that, your dad would not like it. You don't need another ceiling fan, especially if it doesn't work. It's the light switch. Oh, wait. Okay, now, oh, hold on, hold on. So, when it's not beeping, that means it's off. That means the switch is open. open. Does that make sense, try Logan? The, try the hold, fan. Hold on, Logan. Yes. Does that make sense? There's no electricity, so the switch is no, it's open. Not no electricity like, going not, through it. Yeah, it's not letting electricity oh, through it. cool. Okay, so now turn it on. Okay. Look, look. Look at my hands. Swi switch is closed. Electricity is flowing through it. Switch is open. No electricity going through it. Exactly. Closed. Open. open. Okay. So when you close it, that means that two metal pieces are touching now. So electricity can flow through it. And so when electricity flows, that is allowed to flow, this beeps. And the light would turn on because electricity is going to it. Try this young fan. Well, we have to have power for the ceiling fan. We need to actually we need a couple wire nuts too because I don't yeah. want to have these things are exposed. That's interesting how it's like connected to this cord. It's a sharp, aren't they? Uh, Sapphire doesn't have a light. Uh, earplug is right under your something. No, oh, it's right here. <laughs> Ow! What did I just sit on? I think it was like a Try stick, like a little stick or something. What happened to my fork? Yeah, uh, Logan, where'd the fork go? Logan, where's what? the fork? Fork. I gotta stir my, stir my beans here. So then, this is a switch over here, Logan. So this one. So this is the one that controls the direction, right? Okay. Can I try to reverse it? So when it's when you reverse it, it, it switches what wires are connected to change the direction of the motor. Well, the red wire is on top of that, and the black wire is on the bottom. Uh, well, that's when I actually didn't have any red wire or black going to it. This here. It's got white orange and brown and gray and tan. How can you change the direction just by doing, by switching? Uh, don't ask me on AC motors. I know how it works on DC. I don't remember how it works on AC. I forget. Hey, well, I know what we should do. If we try to get this thing working again, we should put that in the living room. That's a good idea. This is oh, another. Wrong. This switch has multiple different. Oh, there's the problem. <laughs> that switch doesn't work. No, don't don't pull was it that off. A speed switch. Yeah, this is the fan speed switch. Don't pull it. Don't pull it. You're gonna break it. Don't pull it. It's already Good. broken. Yeah, it's already broken. Hang on. Wait, it wait, wait. Stop. It should click. No. Mm -mm. Wait. Because sometimes if you push it in, it'll help. Mm -mm. No, it should, when you pull it out, it should click. It, like this one. Well, actually, we, you can't just, like, throw it away, because you, you can, like, change the pull chain. Uh, you actually can just change the whole switch, which is what we've done before. Um, you know how to change the switch? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. You gotta take one off? Like that. Well, actually, you have to use a paper clip to, like, um, uncouple these wires out of there. Uh, well, no. This is a different kind, Logan. This one, you actually have to take these off. Oh, you have to take those wire nuts off? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It split apart. Okay. Wait, hang on. Just, like, clip it on. Just, like, push it. Might be able to make it work if we push it closed. See? 
There we go. But it popped apart, so it doesn't work anymore. Mm. It's not the first one I've had do that, though. Unless you're trying to, like, tape it. Mm. The tape will eventually stretch, unfortunately. Yeah. Do you have any spare pole chains around? Well, it's the actually, it's the switch, Logan. It's the switch that's broken. You might need to get a screw on that. Mm, there's no screws on this either. No? The plastic broke. Mm. And there's there's plastic. Unless right you just want there. like when we like when you go test it and basically you could just like put the whole chain in there. But the problem is I don't want you to get shot. Light turn on. Whoa! Silently. What are we doing here? We're learning how to use the the tester. What is this? Where'd that come from? Auction. Here's the light switch, which is no, cramp. Out. It's over here. Oh, yeah. I don't know when I went to me, I like how to get this little spinner. What can I do with my... I, I never asked Long permission toe. to go to the auction today. I just assumed yeah. that it was going to be no. Oh, sorry. We'll try that. Auction. It doesn't work. Wait. Yep. Now, remember I had to squeeze it together. Okay. Now it works. Unless you want to test it with electricity. Well, we could put a clamp I'm on it. I'm not putting my fingers in there while it's got electricity going through. <laughs> no, thank you. But that switch has this wire, this wire. It has yellow, orange, black, and purple. Rare vertebrae. Coming out of it. And so that purple goes to this one. And the yellow goes to that yellow. The orange goes to this orange here, which goes into the switch. And the black. Where's the black go? Um, where does the black go? What? It's meant to not run the ceiling fan for the whole time, so just let me know. another wire nut hiding down here somewhere? No. Oh no, that black goes directly into the fan motor. Yeah, um, turn it upside down, turn it up the other way. In the world? What? Oh, I'm just getting confused as to what's going on. Oh, you heard something. I heard something. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's... Where is it? Oh, it's not coming back to life, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it squished the living daylights out of it. That's interesting. So this is assembled kind of interesting. The black wire that comes out of this goes all the way through that, to the top. That's this wire. There's no wire nut on it. It goes from here to there. Oh. So to replace that switch yeah. is very, very difficult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How are we gonna fix why it? Why it hasn't been replaced. <laughs> yeah. How are we gonna fix it? Uh, you have to replace the switch. Can't you just, like, clamp it in? Mm, you probably could, but... Can it be glued? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think glue is useful for electricity. Well, oh, it's yeah, not. This doesn't need to be glued because the electricity won't pass. It needs to be glued because it's broken apart. Can you bring it back to life, Sapphire? Huh? You gonna go bring it back to life? 
bring it back when you're when it's when it's all all done. As if you're gonna be so um, Logan, do you know your desk fans? Desk fans? I mean, I know some brands like Galaxy, General Electric, um, Lasco, um, Robinson Myers, uh, they keep making Holmes. these more complicated. This is worse than the last one I worked on. For complexity. <laughs> Last time I was at Lowe's, they were selling out all their old ceiling fans. Very old ceiling fans? Old display models. Like what? What do you mean old display models? Like from 2007? I don't know. Ones that were up on, they were the ones that were up that you could look at. Can you find that? On your computer? They probably don't list them. Because they. Yeah. Where do you want these batteries, Dad? Back in the charger? No. Mm -hmm. So now do you know how to use it? Sort of. So what can you test? Um basically um Do we have any super glue? Right. That thing's on the floor with a wheelchair. You can run over them and damage them. All right, guys. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so we're gonna be fixing this pole chain here. Cause this one just needs to be clamped, and and the pole chain does. Cause right now it goes like this. Make that click as much, but I should go like this. Clamp it up. Motor's a little stiff, but... Is it? Not stiff, but... Heavy. Is it heavy? Not that heavy. The motor is heavy. Okay, There's now we're going to look it. for some nylon thread. So I'm going to look here and see what it says. Super strong machine and hand sewing. This, this is cool because like nylon to me. This is so cool because you can plug this in. Oh, Jonathan did that. <laughs> he was messing with it, so. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Here we go. 
This is what you do when you don't have a new switch. Okay. Uh This is going to be a problem because I'm trying to film out and I don't know how to hold it. It's kind of dusty. A tie, a, a tie would just be perfect. I are going to tie that on there. see those hmm they might be I, see, I, I think I might know there Can you see? <laughs> so I needed to go in between those on this side. It's not wanting to go in there. There it is. Yeah, I need your help. Ooh, it may not be long enough. I haven't heard it go pop yet. I haven't heard it click in. Oh. Oh, what? I don't think it's long enough. Let me see that. Are you kidding? What? What happens? It's not quite long enough. You have another one on yours? I may have to go back to this string method. All I need is one click. Two would be better, but all I need is one. Let's see. I just heard. Is it clicked? Nope. 
Does it get in there? No. Ah. Let's get in there. Okay, I need a pair of pliers. See if there are pair pliers in that toolbox, please. Needle nose that are not smooth. <sighs> well, those are smooth, but is there another mm -hmm. pair of needle nose in there? If they'll work. So what are you using the pliers for anyway? To pull. Oh. To pull? To pull this. Just to pull? Yeah, just to pull, that's it. But I can't get it to, to actually click the, uh, the wire, the uh, nylon tie. Mm. It's just a little bit too short. Just a little too short. Like not much, but just a little. Okay. I don't that won't work. So we're gonna have to use the thread then. I thought it would be long enough. I wonder if I have a, another nylon tie somewhere that's just a little bigger. Just a little bigger. Let's see. You know what we should we should really put a testing rig somewhere in this house. Maybe upstairs we should do this where we can test fans. Usually have nylon ties in this box. Alright, we're still trying to fix this with the I need your help. I don't really want to put the camera down. So I'll try to put some on. Uh, so we're gonna get an R ceiling pan someday. Uh, are we gonna get an R ceiling pan one day? I need. Yeah, I'm gonna get a ceiling fan for our bedroom. I'd like to get one that has a remote control on it. Really? When? Yes. See, did you hear it click that time? No. I did. Oh yeah, I heard it now. I just heard it. When are you going to get a ceiling fan for your bedroom? I don't know. I'll get my bedroom fixed up. When are you going to get it fixed up? I don't know. Anyway. I need to... I also can use this fan, but it doesn't have any blades. What are you doing? I bet you this fan has blades somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Unless you want to like put it, I mean, unless we could put it upstairs and hang it up like that. If you want to do that, since you already have it. Since you already got, it's like since you already got this at an auction, you could put it up if you want. Upstairs. So I think one of the rooms probably needs some love up there. It really needs a fan up there. Oops. So this, I, mean, I do like this kind of light fixtures upstairs, but I just kind of want to put something there. All right, I got fixed. Can I put this? Can I fix it? Myself? Hold on, hold on. All right, now let's use. So we're gonna turn to voltage, and we're gonna see. Okay, so we're gonna put on the wire. Jonathan! Jonathan! So I'm gonna try to use this voltage tester. Like that. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, Where's the piece that goes on it? It's up here. It's, up it's here. over there somewhere. Here it is. It's right here. I'll, actually, I could do it. Which way does it go on? Yeah, but... Wait, wait. Oh. I just got stuck in there. Hang on, I got it. Let me just do it. Let me do it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Can you move your hand, please? Thanks. Yeah, it goes like that. Alright, let's see how it does. All right, let's see how this baby thing does. Actually, we, we need to put a, we need to put, we also, we need to fix another thing. The light socket. Do you have any light sockets? I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you have something that would work for this. Do you have any light sockets anywhere? Hey, what? Jonathan. Because what you could do, I mean, unless you've, yeah, I, we could actually put this into a remote control fan. Like, we can just, like, put a receiver in the um, down rod. But we really can't do it for huggers, really, because it's not really affordable to do. Especially that over of your fan there in the bedroom. Oh, we're going to take that fan out. Hey, can I have it? I could. I could if I want, because I love that one. Jonathan! I, to, I wonder if he has wire nuts. Take that off. Are we ready to test it? All right. So we just we know that this loose wire here goes nowhere. Okay. So it's not going to catch fire. We've got all of our rest of our wires are capped. Okay. okay so nothing's going to catch fire in here. All right. So. Here. Now the switch is accessible. We don't want it getting in there because it could catch with the. Mm. Okay. All right, let's test it out. Wait, wait, wait. What? We don't plug it into the wall. Remember? Why? We always use. This is what I told Jonathan. You always use a, a power strip that has a fuse built in. Okay. That way. A fuse. If something shorts. We don't throw the breaker. Okay. And then have to go to the panel and say, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, test it. Have you ever had something that you plugged in go <laughs> and spark? I don't know. Whoa, this is like oh. <laughs> back up please. Yes. Alright, turn it on and we get lights. Right, cool. Two lights mean it's correct. Ready to test this thing? I'm gonna back up. So you're gonna back up. So we're gonna turn it off here. See, so we have a nice switch there, so we can control this. Can I plug it in. Mm -hmm. So right now it's off. Don't turn it on. Yet. There is no indication on which is on or which is off. That's kind of. Alright, you turn it on. Turn it on. Oh shoot! Wait, wait. We don't know. So we can we can just um can you hold it just to make sure it doesn't fly? I don't no, know. It's not fly. No, just hold the fan motor. All right. Yeah, but what if it moves? Cause it, cause. Okay, I can turn it off. I can turn it down. Right here. Okay. Let's try it. So yep, yeah, it's on. So play once. See if it's still on. Turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Leave it on. Leave it on. No, we're gonna turn it up. off. Why? Let's see. Nothing. 
Whoa. Oh, it's out of balance. Already, you can tell that. That doesn't sound good, does it? Alright, we finally fixed this thing. Does it reverse? Yeah. Yep, it reverses. Very cool. Alright, we got this fan working again. Alright. Good. Nothing there. Try a screw. Good. Okay. Try nope. a screw again. Here's the screw right here. Here, hold on. Right there. Yeah, nothing. Okay, yeah, good. Alright, so that means it's isolated. It's insulated. Insulated. Okay, and that's good. So you've if a, if you if you get a new fan, oops, or an old fan, then that's a good idea to test those, just to make sure there's no shorts, and that might be what you want to do with those Hunter fans. Check for continuity between the casing and your common and your power. Continuity is where the sound is. 